Mike Florio, Pro Football Talk, is a Vikings fan, a self-professed Vikings fan. He's talked about before uh, rooting for Fran Tarkenton and, and the Vikings uh, while growing up in the heart of Steel Country. Uh, it had to be a little bit rough, especially after that that uh, New Orleans Super Bowl, Vikings versus Steelers. Uh, maybe not, maybe not so much, but uh, and I understand that Florio and PFT. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's kind of fashionable, especially by the young kids. Hello, young children, uh, to hate on Florio and, and his takes and whatnot. But I respect him. Uh, I like pro football talk. In fact, when when I was looking at oh God, what gosh, what was it? Uh, I, I was looking at cell phones back in the day and to date myself i was looking at a blackberry i was like my, the first thing the first concern not how does the user interface work how does email work how does texting work uh, how does pro football talk show up on mobile because this is when internet was just getting onto phones and stuff god i'm old god i'm old but yeah respect love the hustle respect it uh, but Florio, he's one of the camp of being a self-loathing Minnesota Fighting Vikings fan. And he, he did up his uh, initial week one NFL power rankings, all this stuff, blah, 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 right? And, of course, our power rankings are the most accurate in the universe with our torn blouse. Uh, we we had the Vikings at seven, uh, I believe. And, of course, uh, we're biased. We're, we're a little homerish. It, it's fine. Uh, but we, we say that up front. Uh, but Florio, he, he doesn't seem like a guy uh, – Florio doesn't seem like a guy who's too tongue in cheek or, or having a laugh. So I actually feel like this is hashtag journalistic integrity with a big J uh, of where he's ranking the Vikings. Well, so I, I don't know, man, where even the most dour, uh, even the most cynical Vikings fan. I mean, they got to have some hope because they see the talent on offense. They see the playmakers on defense. You see the new regime, the new culture, all that stuff. They see the schedule. They see the nine home games, only seven true road games. The Packers losing Devonte Adams. They see all of that. And yet, Florio still puts the Vikings in the same area as well, uh, zoom in and enhance. So, Florio still puts the Vikings at 22, which we're talking about Cleveland Browns, you know, minus Deshaun for 11 games, led by Jabroni Brisket uh, for 11 games. We're talking about Panthers, led by Baker Mayfield. We're talking about uh, the Commanders, led by whoever, Car uh, Carson Wentz. We're talking about the Seahawks without Russell Wilson. Florio is putting the Vikings in that neighborhood. Eat that, no one's eating good in that neighborhood. There ain't no Applebee's there. Like, are you kidding me? Like, even mm, uh, Unless this is just a... Uh, I, I expect nothing and I'm still let down situation, which, hey, Florida has been a Vikings fan longer than us and we're old AF. So I, I fully understand if you've lived through the four Super Bowl losses and now, now we can't even make it to the Super Bowl. So we get our losses on in the NFC title games. So I, I don't know. But he, he, like the prime Meridian, the most average Vikings fan would at least put the Vikings, what, top 14? Somewhere in there. If you're rosy and optimistic like me, maybe top 10. But the rest of this list... So we'll start at the top. Rams, it's the whole uh, to be the man, you got to beat the man. I don't buy that at all. I would put the Bills above the Rams. I'd put the Chiefs above the Rams. I may even put the Chargers above the Rams. But he's really down on the Chargers. The guy I'm at 15. Uh, Bills, Chiefs, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Packers, uh, again, Florio is one of the national media Jerome haircuts who still put the Packers up here, even though they lost Devontae Adams, who allegedly, according to them, uh, is the best wide receiver in the National Football League. Apparently, that doesn't move the needle. It's like if you take Justin Jefferson away from the Vikings, uh, like, like just send him to another team do you think that would impact the vikings at all possibly maybe i uh, got the Bengals up there yes niners <sighs> few too many question marks for me uh with at the quarterback position i i believe in trey lance except we haven't seen it i have a lot of issues with the titans at eight uh you know, is another year older they got rid of aj brown Traylon burks isn't ready to replace him they lost bud dupree i mean derrick henry how many years can he do it because running backs, especially power running backs like Derrick Henry, they, they hit a wall. They, they hit a cliff, and they, it, it goes fast. I think Derrick Henry, we may be starting to see that. He's on the Eagles hype. He's on the Cowboys hype. Get out of here. Colts, yes, respect. Ravens, sure. Cardinals, it's a little bit too high. Raiders, sure. But he puts them in front of the Steelers. Oh, no, he puts the Vikings behind the Steelers. Uh, the Steelers with Mitchell Trubisky ponder. Like, are, are you kidding me? Uh out here. Patriots, Dolphins, and uh, buying into that Dolphins type. Broncos, I think he's a little bit too low on the Broncos, frankly. A little bit too high on the Saints. A lot of question marks there, plus Sean Payton and that offense. It gone. It gone, man. Uh, then blah, blah, blah. We went to the Falcons, Giants, yeah, and the rest of the league. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, uh, again, Florio, 
hardcore Vikings fan, maybe this is just the set the bar low so anything above that is gravy. Because if you come out of the gates expecting a 12-5 and five season, make winning the division and making some noise in the playoffs, and then they say win 10 games, that's a disappointment. You know, quote-unquote disappointment. But if you say that they're going to win six games, you know, six, seven games and finish, you know, 22nd in the NFL, and then all of a sudden they win that same 10 games, like, oh, here he is, overachieving. I get it. I, I, I get it. I, I understand it. I respect it. I commiserate with it, but I, I disagree with it as well. Hey, hey, we can do that. We, we can still do that in this country. Like, I can disagree with your position and still respect you and like you at the end of the day. It's kind of crazy, man. But uh, that's it. Uh, our, our thoughts, or your thoughts and our thoughts on Florio's thoughts. Uh, no. 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 Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once we put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull production value.